Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting and informative video by Simply Learn. In this video, we are going to learn all about a Redex sort in C programming. So without any further delay, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. And while we are at it, please leave us a like if you find our content helpful and a sub to the channel would be appreciated. Alright? We will start by understanding what Redex sort is in C. Next, we will understand the working of the Redex sort. And finally, to get things a little more interesting, let's run a program practically on Redex sort for better understanding. Well, now we are good to get started. First, let's begin by understanding what Redex sort in C is. In Redex sort, the sorting is done on the integer values digit by digit from the least significant bit to the most significant bit, either in ascending or descending order of arrangement. So for example, let's consider an array of four elements to sort and they are 12, 9, 236 and 463. So firstly, sort the elements which are in the units place. Once they are sorted in the proper place, move on to the tens place and sort digit by digit. And finally, sort elements of the hundreds place. Great. Now we have an idea of what Redex sort is in C. So moving ahead, let's understand the working of the Redex sort. So let's consider this example. We have an array of five elements to sort. So first, find the largest element and it is 576, which consists of three digits in it. That means we require three passes to sort the unordered array. So as I discussed before, in the first pass, sort the elements starting with the least significant bit, followed by the second least significant bit, and later the most significant bit elements. So here, the least significant digits are 8, 2, 0, 4, and 6. So considering digits 0 to 9, we use counting sort to sort the elements and place them in the right order and at the proper position. So since we have 0 in the list, let's place this element first and then search for the next list element in LSB and it is 2 and followed by 2, we have 4 and then 6. And the last element is 8. And finally, the digits are sorted. And the sorted elements are in the ascending order of 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. So now, moving on to the second least significant bit. The elements are 1, 2, 5, 7 and 0. So, the least digit we have in a list is 0. So let's place the digit first and followed by digit 0, we have 1 next, then 2 and followed by that we have 5 and 7. So here finally the order of sorted elements is 0, 1, 2, 5 and 7. Similarly, let's move on to the most significant bit. So, let's place the least digit first, which is digit 1. So, followed by that, we have another 1. So, let's move that next. Then, the next least digit is 3. Followed by 3, we have 4. And then, 5. Finally, the elements are sorted in the right order. The array elements are sorted in the ascending order and they are 108, 110, 354, 422 and 576. Okay, so let us now move on to the implementation of Redex sort in C. So it is an implementation of a Redex sort. So first we have the two function declaration that is display and Redex sorting. So first moving on with the function get maximum element. 
So find the maximum number from the given array elements. So to find we have the variable declaration max element initially a of 0 is assigned and for i is equal to 1 till i less than n if the condition a of i is greater than max element assign a of i to max element and return max. The next function is the counting sort. So using counting sort algorithm we perform a regex sort. So the variable declared are array size and place. So first we are creating the output array of size plus 1 then we are creating a max variable is equal to array of 0 divided by place of module 10 and in this for loop this for loop is to sort the array elements so for that we are taking digit by digit starting from unit place to 100 place so the condition is for i is equal to 1 till i less than size if condition array of i is divided by place of module 10 must be greater than max then assign array of 8 to max and in count max plus 1 creating another variable called count and then for i is equal to 0 to i less than max the initial count of i is equal to 0. The next for loop is to calculate the count of elements. So i is equal to 0 till i less than size count of array of i divided by place of module 10 plus plus so incrementing the count by 1 and the next for loop is to calculate the cumulative count which is nothing but the sum of all count generated so far. So here for i is equal to 1 till i less than 10 count of i is equal to count of i plus count of i minus 1 and in this for loop where i is equal to size minus 1 and i greater or equal to 0. So basically in this for loop we are taking one digit at a time from the input array that is this a array of i and placing them in the output array at proper place. So the output array is this and the condition is count of array of i divided by place module 10 minus 1 and count of i divided by place module 10 minus minus. So we are also decrementing the count by 1. And finally the last for loop is for assigning all the sorted output array elements in the input array that is whatever is stored in output i is now moved on to the array of i array and the redx sort function here so whatever we have we are calling the get max element and that max element is given to max variable here and we are calling the counting sort and display function is to display all the sorted array elements and then moving on to the main function here we have the array of 5 elements that is 5, 122, 98, 232 and 140. So in this main function we are calling the regex sort and the display function. So now let's try to execute. And as you can see the screen the arrays are sorted in a proper ascending order. So starting from 5, 98, 122, 140 and 232. So with this we have come to the end of this session on the Redex sort in C. I hope this session was informative and interesting. So if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources like PPT, core document or anything then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happier to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time. Thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.